for six or seven years. We've had purple martin houses at our country home in the Silver Arena community near Water Valley, Mississippi. The first one we put up, and that's the one that's furthest away from the camera in this picture, was erected on a peninsula extending out into our lake. Because of high water, the peninsula is mostly underwater in these pictures. The other house, the one nearest the camera, will sit in water only when the lake is unusually high. The mounting pole of the house that's on the peninsula was in the water when the first Martin Scouts arrived this year, uh, 2013, and they chose that house over the other one. It's possible the Martin's choice of houses was influenced by the Bluebirds already having claimed the other house, but the Martins have from the very beginning seemed to prefer the what I'm calling the Peninsula House. The purpose of this slide presentation is to show how bluebirds have taken up residence in one of the Martin houses. We've been told by ornament experts that we must be mistaken because bluebirds simply would not uh, nest in houses suitable for purple martins. But unless they're birds that are the spitting image of bluebirds, we do have bluebirds nesting in one of our purple martin houses. And uh, this is the third year they've done so. The first year I noticed that they picked out uh, the house before the Purple Martins arrived and they took offense to the attempts by Martins to share the house. Actually, the Bluebirds prevailed and we had Martins nesting only in one of the houses. I don't know if it's the same pair of Bluebirds that have occupied the house for the past several years but they seem to prefer what I'm calling the penthouse, which faces the northeast. So far, neither the bluebirds nor the martins have seemed to be bothered by the fact that the base of the pole is occasionally in water. All the pictures presented so far have been taken from our porch, which is maybe 50 yards from the house being occupied by the bluebirds. The elevation of the porch is higher than the Martin houses, so I'm actually shooting down, thereby getting water and grass in the background rather than sky. Beginning with this slide, I've moved a bit closer to the Martin houses, and I'm shooting from the ground level. In this slide, you can see a female bluebird looking out the door of the penthouse while her mate is arriving on the perch on top of the house. This slide shows one of the birds on the perch while another one arrives. In uh, this slide and in the next several slides, both the male and female enjoy the view from their perch atop the penthouse dwelling. Here you see the male bird leave the perch and make his way into the penthouse. And for the next several slides, you'll see him enter the door and disappear into the pair's penthouse nesting place. So, uh, in conclusion, I'm convinced that these are indeed bluebirds occupying a purple martin house. If not, maybe someone who views this slideshow can set me straight. Of course, the uh, purple martins 
I use the house too and share it with the bluebirds. Uh, this is just one purple martin in this slide, but uh, a good number of those uh, nesting areas are occupied uh, in this house by purple martins and only the what I'm calling the the penthouse, the uh, you know, the loft area on the upper right is occupied by uh, the nesting bluebirds. I'll just put a little PS here as an aside. Uh, the house is also used uh, by other birds. In this case, a kingfisher is using it as his launch pad for diving into the lake and catching whatever it is he catches fish, I assume. Thanks for watching.